Hello there, my friends. My name is Craig, and welcome to the Atheist Experiment. going to begin this video by acknowledging that we are walking on Aboriginal land that has been inhabited by Indigenous peoples from the beginning. As settlers, we're grateful for the opportunity to hike here and we thank all generations of people who have taken care of this land for thousands of years. Long before today, as we tread here, there have been Aboriginal peoples who have been the stewards of this place. In particular, we acknowledge the Weak Wem Kung unceded territory. We recognize and deeply appreciate their historic connection to this place. We also recognize the contributions of Métis, Inuit, and other indigenous peoples have made both in shaping and strengthening this community in particular, and our province and our country as a whole. As settlers, this recognition of the contributions and historic importance of Indigenous peoples must also be clearly and overtly connected to our collective commitment to make the promise and the challenge of truth and reconciliation real in our communities. Come with us as we explore and appreciate the beauty of this place with the traditional homeland of Aboriginal peoples. When we reach the height of our destination, and look out across the valleys below, we recognize that we are viewing Wik Wem Kung unceded territory. This popped off my belt already. same spot that was very grippy suddenly is very slippery like like very slippery if you remember I've demonstrated yeah but it's like there's a slime like a mold on all these rocks and as long as it's dry it's not a problem and as soon as it gets wet it's very greasy
Why don't you give me your camera? I just want to take a picture of the whole spot. This is the this is the local uh, salad. This is how this is the painting. This is definitely a Sasquatch footprint or a fairly large bear. What? Claw, 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 claw. Ew. I hate the rain, but I still did it, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I will fit it. That looks fun too. Did you see how the trees are all yeah. in perfect rows? Yes. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I love, I love forests when all the needles mm -hmm. have fallen off the trees and made a yeah. carpet, and there's no branches on the lower part of the trees. An old car. An old car.
So you know that uh, Karen box that you were having delivered? Cassie did it once and you did it once or something? Um, I have no idea how much you guys paid for that, but do you think that what came... Do you think that what came in those boxes was worth... Huh? Angry chipmunks or squirrels? Do you think that what came in that box was worth the money you paid? The, the reason I'm asking is because I'm wondering if I should subscribe to it myself just to get a little surprise every month or something. Because I enjoyed getting that. I know. Sure. Huh? Can you hear it? Yeah. I can hear it too. There's something big over there, yeah. cracking trees. I've heard that several times. I heard it two or three times. And then I yeah. wanted them to shut up. Yeah. It's probably, probably a deer. Yeah. Probably. Or a moose. It's probably a moose or a deer. Oh, but you guys don't have anything that makes noise on you? It's a horn. These are air horns for noise. And this is bear spray. Oh, okay. There's, there's an animal path right there. It's a squirrel dropping walnuts. <laughs> um, if you like, make noise, like if you see something. You know what? Here, take one of these. Yeah. Sure? Just have yeah. one of those, okay. just in case. Okay. All right, just push works? the button on top. It makes a big, loud air horn sound. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. It really sounded like something, though, didn't it? Yeah. I was convinced that. They're going to see the sunset. Do they understand that after that happens, it gets dark? You know, when, the, when oh, maybe they're flat earthers and they think that when the sun goes down, it's, it doesn't actually go down. We have to head back soon. Yep. Yeah. I know, it's so nice. See all the mini islands out there? When you're in the water, they all look like one. You can't hardly tell them apart. Well, I need my big flashlight. I can't see markers in the dark. Now, I found a trail marker. Okay, as soon as you get down here, we'll put your uh, headlamp on. Here, got it. Trail marker for going up.
I'm not sure what it is. Some weird looking cone. Trail marker. I can't even see you. Here. Now take a picture of yourself. Can you get the keys out of my pouch? Everything has to go in here anyway for us to sleep, so we may as well just put it all in here. You push the button. What did I do? Any button, any button. I often hear people say, and it's even been said to me multiple times, it goes something like this. Why must you keep attacking religion? Why does it bother you so much? It's not hurting anyone. Just keep to yourself and leave it alone. This makes my blood boil. If you can't see the harms that religion causes after it's been brought to your attention, then you're not paying attention. You're in denial and have your head in the sand or you have performed some amazing mental gymnastics to justify the benefits of your religion. When I was a, relig 
When I was religious, I probably fell into the first camp, the ones who aren't paying attention. Once I started paying attention, that's when it all started to unravel for me. So as you may or may not know, I tend to post hard questions on Facebook for theists to answer. I get a few responses on them, some interesting and some very lame. And a little while ago, I posted a question. What harm has religion caused you personally? Now, my online influence is pretty small and insignificant, so I didn't expect a very big response. So I was both surprised and saddened by the responses I received. I almost regretted posting the question because some of the stories people told broke my heart. I'm going to read a few of these to you. I won't read them all because there just isn't enough time. I posted it in three different groups and got a total of almost 200 answers. Don't worry, like I said, I'm not going to read them all. But here are a handful of messages that came as a result of my question. So here we go. Some of these are tough to hear, so turn this off now if you think it will be upsetting for you. I'm only using first names, so I don't out anyone without consent, but you can find all of these on Facebook and I will include a link in the description. Now, Kim says, I'm a woman, so there was the gaslighting of being a descendant of Eve, the weirdness of exalting Sarah for forcing another woman to have a three-way and then taking her baby, the push to be submissive, not only to your husband, like Ruth, but also to your MIL. Now, I'm not sure what MIL stands for, but I think it's mother-in-law. The reinforcement of the belief that if a perv looked at you, it was your fault. The push to make you a brood cow. The acceptance of violence and maltreatment in relationships. Rick wrote, The beatings from my father for not learning my Bible verses for Sunday school. Not forgetting how he held a knife above my mother in the kitchen, threatening her while she cowered on the floor, screaming at me to go to my room. And just the good Christian upbringing that includes beatings for anything and everything. On a side note, yesterday I went into a variety store and the lady at the counter, who was serving a customer, yeah. had a Bible out talking with a customer. I was patiently waiting to pay for my Mentos. Once it was my turn, I said good morning. I received no reply. Then I was told the total as she passed the debit machine and turned away in the direction of where the Bible was. I said thanks in a non-sarcastic way, and again, no reply. WTF, Christians are the most rude, oh, here's judgmental people I've ever met. This is where you come out. That makes more sense. Brian says, watching hundreds of dead bodies on the nightly the news from Jonestown mm -hmm. at a young age still haunts me. Yeah. A message from yeah, Wendy. Yeah. It I'm kept me portage. separated from my father's family portage. all of my life. Alexander says, try leaving Islam if you're a Muslim. Nicholas says, that would be a long list. Again, regarding my question, what harms has religious caused you? Carla writes, well, no, you can't. it has made me feel lonely and isolated because almost everyone around me is religious to some degree. So I can't connect with them on a deep level. Victor just says, lost job. Uh, I'd like to hear more about that one. Uh, Daisy. It has robbed my mother of the ability to think for herself and caused her to be a pariah of her own family. 
Nobody wants my Nana at get-togethers because she always says mean-spirited things and judges everyone. Seema, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Seema writes, a religious government based on Sharia laws expelled me from school and imprisoned well, the teenage me for two years simply for asking questions about certain verses in the Quran, which I thought were overly violent. It forced me into exile. Eric says, I think for me personally it was the fear of going to hell, of having made one little mistake, one little thought crime, that perhaps maybe, Neither though I was mostly hood. good, that I'd still be punished anyways. This fear resulted during my Christian days in compulsions that had me praying every few hours or so for forgiveness. In case maybe I said or thought something slightly unclean. A lot of people I know have no idea how freeing it was for me when I became an atheist. The compulsions didn't stop right away but over time, my fears have vanished and I feel more at peace with myself now than ever before. Regine says, I had to frame everything from the context that I am filled with sin and without Jesus, I am nothing and also hellbound. So that's abuse, as simple as it sounds. I want a redo. Lisa says, please don't laugh. When I lost my virginity out of marriage, I thought I was going to hell. It led me to a deep depression. And finally, Mark says, my daughter died because she was forced to have an illegal abortion. My son was beaten to death. For being gay. Now this is just the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg of horror stories that I have heard since I started paying attention. These are not exceptions to the rule, these are the rule. My own religious upbringing was not nearly as traumatic, but certain harms are still prevalent in my life and continue to plague me from time to time. If you think religion is harmless, and we atheist activists are just trying to make you look bad, you're way off base. Religion does a fine job of making itself look bad, and it doesn't need yeah. anyone to exaggerate the personal experiences yeah, of millions. Nice. It's my job as an activist to bring it into the daylight and expose religion for what it really is. It's a mob that breaks your leg so it can sell you the crutch. It makes you sick so it can sell you the cure. It tells you you are broken so it can sell you the salvation of an afterlife where you eternally worship a God who damned you from the start. This life is just dirty rags. You are born sinful and you must believe and repent in order to make it to paradise. I, on the other hand, have no reason to believe any of this is true. It has never in any way ever been demonstrated to be true. It's all based on the stories of a dusty old book that doesn't make any sense, is full of contradictions, and makes extraordinary claims that can't be backed up with any evidence. This is, only, this is the only life we have, and we must make the most of every minute. Extend our hand to those in need and try to make this a better world for anyone we can. Jump out of a plane, climb a mountain, swim with sharks, 
or just hike a difficult backcountry trail just so you can say you did. Enjoy your family and friends, soak up the good moments, and don't sweat the small stuff. Because when it's good, over, good. it's okay. over. There's no paradise waiting for you on the other side. Well, we just got back and we've conquered the crack. We left at 9.45 this morning and now it's five o'clock. So I'm too tired to do the math, but we've been out a long time and uh, it was worth it, but we're both pretty exhausted, pretty wiped out. Now we need to get some food and hit the road. Donuts. We're gonna be apparently having donuts for dinner, so. Fritters, apple fritters, peach fritters, and maple fritters, and electrolytes. Peace out. Hey there my friends, if you enjoy my videos and you would like to see more, subscribe. And don't forget to scroll down and hit the little bell so you can get notifications. I will be putting out a video every Sunday evening and if you like it, hit the like button. And if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Also, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Catch you next time and have a great week.